This hour, Tampa police and federal government agencies are teaming up to keep your family safe. They unveiled a new plan that could stop a potential terror threat where hundreds of people pass through each day. Bill Logan was there for a first-hand look. It's the sort of security we've seen a lot of since 9-11 at places like airports and seaports and major sporting events. Now, here at the bus station. To sort of invent the wheel in advance in case we have to, if there ever is specific intelligence requiring us to be here, this way us and our partners are ready to move in at a moment's notice. What we're looking for are threats to national security as well as immigration law violators. We're also looking at one of our main initiatives, which is ball cash smuggling. And so passengers ready to head toward Orlando, Jacksonville, and points north had to go through a series of checks while... Susu from the Tampa Airport Police Department gave the bus his sniff test. It's all part of what Homeland Security calls VIPER for Visible Intermodal Prevention and Response. Yeah, they're big on initials. In this team effort between TSA, ICE, CBP, and TPD. So this is ongoing for us. We do this every day. And for the folks who travel like this day in and day out, it's a comfort in troubled times. Uh, I feel safe uh, knowing that I get on a bus and I'm not going to blow up. Now it's not like this sort of security is going to be on display at every bus terminal every time, but the message here is it could be. That's why we'll be back. We won't say when we'll be back. This is the first time we're doing, but this way the bad guys, if you will, are on notice that we'll be back. In Tampa, Bill Logan, ABC Action News.